All of life is energy. The sun's light allows plants to grow, fruit to ripen, and coral to spawn. Humans have the ability to harness the flow of nature. But in today's world, are humans truly honouring the ecosystems of our planet? We're in the midst of an evolutionary upheaval at this moment. We are deep into, now I'm not saying flirting with, I'm saying we're deep into the sixth mass extinction of life on this planet. Five times in the history of this planet, life was thriving, and then some cataclysmic event ends up wiping out up to 90% of life. A lot of it has to do with corporate control of media, and that their, their interest in petroleum and coal is actually destroying the environment. And so you merely didn't hear a lot about it until recently, because now it's critical. We're looking at the last chapter of life on Earth with our current course of action. Nature is not designed for raping and violation. It's no measure of good health to function properly in, a, in an insane society. That is really what Western society currently is. It's a socially engineered, constructed matrix. I think we're all walking around lonely as hell. There's so much greatness that can still come. We're in a process of redefining everything. What do we truly value? Mm -hmm. What do I value as an individual? Everyone's got a part to play and I truly believe that everybody's doing their part because everything we do has an impact. step out of the system and create a new system. Us as people, caring for the land, doing this together for our future, and then this becomes this. We are not the victims, we are the co-creators. All of these man-made constructs of status and money and power and worrying about what everybody thinks about you all the time, it's all man-made bullshit. You get somebody into the garden and show them how simple life can be. Build yourself a little shack, put a seed in the ground, water it. A week later, come back and harvest it and eat it. We've overcomplicated things. the tide will turn. An enlightened planet would, would be tantamount to living a heaven on earth experience, a honeymoon experience as people fall in love. And when they fall in love, how much they appreciate everything in their world around them. I say let's evolve, but let's evolve healthily and happily and harmoniously. Oh, happy, healthy, harmoniously. <laughs> and that's what open love is all about, living in harmony. Some of the ancient tribes have mentioned of the rainbow people coming together with the cultural people in these times to share their love for Earth and regenerate Earth. We're now calling the young people the regeneration. The future holds a lot of potential for millennials because the future is we have to return to be gardeners and all the new technologies that will manifest to how can we clean up the air, the water, the land, take care of the people. It's just waiting for a population of young people to come in and say, I'm motivated to make a better world, and then you're in the right place. <laughs>